Much like your lightning cable that you left in a random hotel room in the middle of Iowa, your truck's CCV filter is often overlooked. Now, despite being a relatively small part of your engine and not always being top of mind, this little guy actually matters, and here's why. Ignoring it can cause you some serious problems down the road. So today we're gonna to be breaking down what is a CCV filter, what it does, and most importantly, why you need to change it. Now trust us, by the end of this video, you're gonna be adding a CCV filter check to your routine truck maintenance. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, by the way, so you can keep up with all the awesome docs content we got coming for you. All right, what is a CCV filter? First, let's break down the acronym. CCV is gonna stand for crankcase ventilation. Your truck's engine is gonna build up pressure in the crankcase during normal operation, and that pressure needs to go somewhere. Now, without a ventilation system, it can cause serious damage. The CCV filter is in charge of venting that pressure safely. But here's the catch. When air leaves a crankcase, it isn't just clean air. It's mixed with things like oil vapor, unburnt fuel, and other nasty stuff that you definitely don't want circulating back into the engine or into the environment. That's where your CCV filter is gonna come in. It acts as a barrier. It's gonna trap those contaminants while still allowing the air to pass through it. You can think of this filter like a filter for your engine's lungs. Without it, your engine will be breathing in all sorts of junk, leading up to buildup, reduced efficiency, and potential damages. It's one of those components that quietly does its job, and you don't think about it until it stops working. Now, to really understand why the CCV filter is crucial, we need to dive into positive crankcase pressure. When your engine runs, the pistons are moving up and down in the cylinders, creating pressure inside of that crankcase. This pressure is a natural byproduct of combustion, but if it builds up too much, it's going to become a problem. Excessive pressure inside the crankcase is also known as positive crankcase pressure. This pressure needs to be vented out or it can cause things like blown seals and oil leaks, things like that. Imagine shaking a soda can and then opening it. That's what happens when crankcase pressure isn't properly vented. It's not just messy, it's dangerous. The CCV system equipped with a filter allows that pressure to escape safely while keeping all of those contaminants at bay. The filter gets clogged though, pressure's got nowhere to go, and that's when things start to go wrong. So based on all that information, what happens if you don't change your CCV filter? You might be thinking, it's just a filter. How bad can it be? Can it really cause that much damage? Well, let me tell you, it can get bad. Over time, your CCV filter gets packed with things like oil vapor, soot, and other contaminants, and if it's not replaced, it's gonna become clogged, restricting airflow, just like your engine's oil filter. This means pressure builds up in the crankcase, which puts extra stress on your engine seals and gaskets and things like that, and it results in things like oil leaks. And trust me, cleaning up an oil leak is a lot more annoying and expensive than just changing the simple filter. We've all seen those nasty oil stains in the driveway or under a truck at the shop, and nobody wants to be that guy. One of the culprits of those oil stains could be a clogged CCV filter. Now, when the crankcase pressure gets too high, it forces oil out through the seals and gaskets, which causes leaks, just like we talked about. Not only is this bad for your engine's lubrication, but it also creates a mess that you have to deal with not to mention the potential environmental harm. A clogged CCV filter can also affect how your engine runs. If your engine can't properly vent that pressure, it could start to run less efficiently. You might notice things like reduced power, worse fuel efficiency, and overall just a sluggish feel on the pedal. And that's the last thing you want when you're trying to pull a heavy load or blast down the highway. Worst case scenario is that you ignore your CCV filter for too long and it causes long-term damage to your engine. Like we said, blown seals, oil contamination, or even some serious mechanical issues that are gonna lead to costly repairs. So yeah, skipping the filter may save you a little bit of time and a little money up front, but it could cost you a lot of time down the road. It's just not worth it. Knowing all of that, it poses the question though, how often should you be changing out this crucial little engine component? The general rule here is to change your filter every 50 to 60,000 miles. But that said, if you're running your truck hard, doing things like towing a lot, driving in extreme conditions, or you idle a ton, you may wanna change it even sooner. For example, if you're pulling a trailer across the country or in your work truck in extreme heat or cold, that CCV filter is working overtime. The more stress your engine is under, the more frequently you're gonna to wanna to check and replace that little filter. This is a great opportunity to consult your truck's owner's manual for specific recommendations based on how you use your vehicle. The OEM is gonna know best, and of course, here's the thing, 
Even though 50 to 60,000 miles sounds like a long time, it can sneak up on you pretty darn quick. It's a good idea to add it to your regular maintenance checklist right alongside your oil changes and other basic upkeep. Your engine's gonna thank you for it, you're gonna be happier, everybody wins. Now, if you're looking for the best CCV replacement filters, look no further than the folks here at Dox Diesel. Dox offers top of the line filters designed to keep your engine running like a champ. These filters are gonna be built to OEM specs so they fit your truck absolutely perfectly and they perform even better. Plus, Dox gets all their products directly from the manufacturer, meaning that you don't have to pay that nasty dealer markup. More money in your pocket means everybody wins. Dox CCV filters are made to handle the heavy demands of a diesel engine, whether you're towing and hauling, or just putting a lot of miles on your truck, they can take it. Plus, they're designed to last, which means fewer replacement parts down the road and a good peace of mind. Trust me, this small investment into a quality CCV filter from the folks at Dox Diesel is a lot cheaper than repairing engine damage from a clogged filter. You can head on over to DoxDiesel.com and check out the whole range of products, which includes high quality oil, fuel filters, all sorts of good stuff that are gonna keep your engine running smooth. All right, boys and girls, we've covered a lot today, but the bottom line is gonna be this. Your CCV filter plays a critical role in keeping your engine healthy. It helps regulate crankcase pressure, filters out harmful contaminants, and prevents some serious issues like oil leaks, reduced performance, and even engine damage. The good news is maintaining your CCV filter is simple. Just make sure you check it and change it every 50 to 60,000 miles or sooner if you're pushing your truck hard. And just remember, skipping this small maintenance step could cost you big time in the long run. It's like my granddad always said, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So don't wait until you're dealing with blown seals or reduced performance. Keep an eye on your CCV filter and when it's time for a replacement, make sure you check out my friends at docsdiesel.com for top quality parts that'll keep your engine running strong and smooth. If you've got questions about CCV filters or anything else diesel related, drop them down below. We'd be sure to answer them. And of course, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and share this video with a friend who might need to change their CCV filter. Thanks for watching. I'm Dusty LBZ. We'll catch you guys on the next one.